What's up guys, your boy CJ here, back in the video, I was doing well, I'm doing pretty well myself. I'm sorry my thumbs are sticking out like this because I had a cut um, making this video, so it's not going to be fun. Um, I'm sorry my thumbs are sticking out very weird, so it's kind of bleeding right now, so yeah. Don't worry about that, you can't see it, so good. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about the types of tripod legs. Now, this video is actually overlooked by many reviewers and uh, YouTubers, and it's actually a big overview parts of selecting your first tripod now why is that um there are actually two main reasons for that and there are not two main reasons there are actually the two main reasons being there's two types of tripod and they have both have their benefits and both have their you know pros and cons about them but it's easily overlooked by many when they're selecting the first tripod so without further ado let's get into it so I'm gonna introduce uh, what are two types. The first one are basically screw-on types. Um, these are basically the ones that, you know, when you wanna extend, you gotta unscrew them like a hundred years and you know, and it screws on and it, screw, and it screws on back just to, you know, lock it back up. So that's the first type, the screw-on type. And next you have the clap, clasp type. I call it the clamp type because, you know, you open up clamp and you know you open, you close it you open it up and you know you want to lock it out you just clamp it on so very fast very quick so yeah anyway i'm sure you already see a couple of problems i have with um, both of these now do keep in mind they are not the same manufacturer so you might get a different design but they're basically the same concept same two types clamp or uh, they're basically clamp or you know um screw-ons so yeah anyway so what i further do i'm gonna introduce the pros and cons of both of these now first things first let's start with the clamp on my personal favorite this is the manfrotto 550 um, tripod legs so clamps now out of the best yeah i think you can see very obvious that it's incredibly fast i want to open it up i want to lock it back down just clamp on clamp off and i'm done with it sorry i'm going to switch sides because my thumb is sticking out like a sore thumb right now so yeah so clamp they're basically th same thing they're three legs there are four legs by the way so it depends on you they actually there's actually a fourth um, type which is basically also screw on but there's instead of a screw like this it's basically screwed from the outside here those are more advanced more expensive types i don't recommend you guys get those because um they're a bit fussy to deal with and hard to clean as well these are very simple uh, the clamps as you can see very fast very quick and you know they do come with uh, cons uh pros being it's fast and it's easy to clean because you know it's just clamps you just unscrew them and clean the clamps then you're done however it's not suitable for long-term usage why do i say that because unlike screw-ons these the clamps get loose over time you know um when i first got these i could not open them that easily i could just you know open like that and just close it back now back then no back then it was super hard it was super tight and i could not for the sake of my life clamp it back on um so as you can see over time it will get loose so that's one of the cons for it furthermore it's hard to control what do i mean by hard to control now if you screw on unlike screw ons once you open it it's loose all the way it's loose it's not it doesn't have any more friction in between it just opens it up there's good and bad for those that want to want it quick it's good but for those that want a very controlled and precise you know adjustment towards your tripod legs they want one longer or another one shorter this may prove to be a you know a shortcoming for you because it's let's just face it it's very loose and very soft and that is not good for adjustment at all so yeah that's that all right next we're going to talk about this this is um, an lvg model um I'm not sure it doesn't have a specific name. Just, I know the brand is LVG. So as you can see, it's screw-ons. Um, there are multiple levels, unlike this one, because you know, my Manfrotto is extremely long itself, so it doesn't need any longer. They both comes around the same height. Um, I'm not particularly sure. I never tested that. So, but yeah. So anyway, screw-ons. Um, I think you can see from just now when I want to, you know, pull these out. You know, I need to unscrew it. Then I only then I can pull it out. And when I want to lock it back down, I need to screw it back on again. And you know, it takes a lot. Of, it takes a lot 
of you know, effort and energy to do it, not to mention time. And when it comes to photographer, videographers, those people that need, that need to capture that moment and that instant, this would be a killer choice for you. You do not want these things for your house and for your usage. It depends on what you want to use basically. However, um, like it's basically the opposite of clamp. It's slow and it's not easy to clean too because it's screw on and you want to clean this. You have to take out the rubber and stuff. It's very fussy. And not to mention you have to lubricate this every now and then just to keep it smooth. Otherwise, um, yeah, uh, I believe mine has rubber in it. Some people use this um, lubricate to just to lubricate them. Mine has rubber in it. So thank God I don't need to deal with that. So yeah, I mean, depends on personal uh, preferences. However, unlike the clamp type, it is suitable for long-term storage and long-term use. Why do I say that? Because of the screw-on design. Screw-on types are very long-lasting because, you know, let's face it, you screw things on and unlike clamps where it's just one level, uh, this has multiple levels of, you know, um, tightness. Not tightness, more like multiple levels of locks. So there's that. Um, furthermore, it's easier to control. So let's say I don't turn it all the way off. I just turn it one twist. I can, you know, very slowly pull it down or very, you know, um, very, uh, very slowly pull it down. Unlike the Manfrotto, which just let go all the way. This one just, you know, it's slower. It's much more easier to control. Unlike the Manfrotto, which is very hard, by the way. So uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate again. Is that one turn, maybe a half a turn, or maybe a just, you know, a little bit open up and it's a lot smoother than you think. So it comes out a lot slower. See, see that? I need to shake it out just before it come out. So yeah, it allows for a lot of, you know, flexibility in terms of adjustment and easier adjustment for, you know, people that like those fine little adjustments. And so yeah, that's the basic screw on time. Sorry if I keep looking down, by the way, I'm not looking at a tripod more like I have notes in front of here because I realized that uh, when I have a little bit of notes up here, I know exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. And if I don't, I kind of screw up and stutter a lot of time and I keep repeating stuff and people have been complaining that I don't want that to happen again. So yeah, there's that. This, like I said, um, it really ups to you depending. By the way, um, there is one other thing though. Screw on types are, let's say, I would say a little bit more rare compared to clamps because clamps you can get for very cheap. Um, I would say China brands, uh, not China brands, more like China OEMs. And I do not recommend you guys get those. Don't cheap out on your tripod legs because once your camera falls on the ground, well, you're gonna cry basically, trust me, you will cry. So spend a little bit more money and you'll get a good quality class and a good quality uh, screw on type. So it really depends on how you wanna do it and what you wanna do with it. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope this video helped you guys out, help you clarify like what's the difference and why you wanna choose this over that. I would choose personally, I would choose the clamp if you are a, you know, a fast, fast shooter, a run and gun shooter, you want things fast, clean, and you know, easy to control. Um, yeah, easy to control as in like you just open up and just let it go, not easy to control like it's, you know, it just very easily, it's not that easy, it's not that easy, trust me. I've been using this for over three years now, it's not fun at all. This thing has been with me for over six years. God, six years, oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, so clamps for those running gun shooters and want things fast, get one of these. So yeah, as for the screw-ons, if you're not rushing for time, you can take your time taking a picture or taking a video, go get yourself the screw types and you'll definitely not regret it. So yeah, um, that's basically the general idea and the general gist of it. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Do like and subscribe and yeah, do share with your friends that those that doesn't know what's the difference and maybe want to get more into understanding these things. Personally, I will get the clamp any time of the day. Of course, I will always have a screw on as a backup. So eh, it really depends on how much you guys money you guys have and how much you're willing to spend on it. So yeah, remember, spend a little bit more, you get a little bit more and remember to just create more content. Anyway, it's your boy CJ and I'll see you guys next video. Out.